So in this example, I have a student name, I have their grade, and I want to know if they passed or failed the class. So I'm gonna be using this rule right here. Um, if the grade is less than 60, then the student didn't pass the class, okay? So I wanna know in column D if the student passed or failed the class. So I'm gonna be typing here in cell D3 equal to if, all right, I'm gonna open up parentheses, and then it's asking for the logical test. So if this number, the grade, so I'm gonna click the grade here, cell C3, if the cell C3 is less than 60, okay, then I want to type in here that the student failed the class. Okay, so I'm going to put this in quotation marks. And then if this is false, so if the grade is greater or equal to 60, then I want to type in here that I want to see the word pass. Okay, so I'm going to type pass in quotation marks. And then I'm going to be closing the parentheses and I'm gonna hit enter. So as you can see, in this case, Michael Jackson passed the class with 93. So let's see how the other students did. So I'm just gonna copy this formula right here and I'm gonna be pasting this with Control C and then Control V, okay? And then I can see here which of the students failed class and which ones passed. So now I can see that all the students that have a grade less than 60 fail the class, like in this case, this other case, this case, and this other case. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more videos and tutorials. Thanks again, see you next time.